Welcome back to Restoration Design. My name is Adam and we're here with our 1973 914 once again. Um, just to recap with you guys, we've done quite a bit of work on this particular car already. We've got a uh, new floor from front to back. We put in um, a new uh, pedal cluster bracket. Uh, we also moved on into the trunk area and put a new section of the trunk in. Um, I guess at this point I could also mention that when you're taking the cars apart, don't forget there's all kinds of components that are on these cars that don't come with the parts. So be sure to check your parts to make sure that you don't have or do have the things that you need to put the car back together. Once you got your frame in place and you know that you're gonna put it, everything back where it's supposed to be, you can go ahead and start removing things. In this particular job, we're gonna be replacing the battery box, the engine shelf, and the suspension console. But for this video, we're just going to be showing you the suspension console. So we've taken care of all the prep work. I've ground down all the spot welds and cleaned everything up. There was a couple of small areas at the back of the uh, seat back that needed to be replaced, and I took care of that. That was a bit of a, a challenge to get into that corner. Um, after I was finished taking care of that, I put some pour 15 on the area that's going to be covered by the suspension console in order to reduce or even stop future rust from happening inside on the frame. Once the port 15 is dry, you need to take your grinder and clean up any areas around it that you're going to be welding on. Now that we got that all cleaned up, we need to coat the area with some weld through primer. That'll help prevent future rust as well. Our main job here is to make sure that it doesn't rust again anytime soon. So this is our suspension console. As you can see here, I've already taken the time to fit it and I've drilled all my holes for all my plug welds um, and I coated it with the weld through primer inside and out to help prevent rust. I've drilled a hole through the frame that I installed in order to be able to put a bolt that's the exact size through there so that I get my exact placement. So this sucker is going back exactly where, oh, exactly where it's supposed to go. Next, we're going to take our drill and we're going to put our self-tapping screws and secure everything in place and get ready to weld. Another thing I'd like to point out is uh, when you're putting your frame in and everything, make sure you take lots of measurements. Take measurements from as many points as you can and see if you can get some drawings online and see how closely matched your measurements are to the ones that come from factory specs. Now that everything's in place, I'm going to get going on the welder and get these plug welds filled. When putting your welds in here, you want to make sure that you space them out and I recommend using compressed air to cool them down faster in order to be able to continue welding. Now that I got all that welding done, uh, I'm going to take my grinder, I'm going to grind down all the plug welds that I did and clean it up a bit. Maybe take a wire brush to a couple of areas that I won't be able to get into with the grinder just to clean up those welds a bit more. Once I've finished that, I'll make sure that I get some primer on there to keep it from rusting before we finish our project. Now that the new part is in and everything's taken care of, we've got all the welds done. All my welds turned out good. I ground down quite a bit of it just to make sure. Uh, I'm going to take my air gun here and I'm going to blow the area off and I'm going to put some weld through primer on there just to coat it for now until we get moving on on other projects. Thank you for joining us here today at Restoration Design. Um, just so you know, uh, our videos are just a suggestion. There are many different methods to be used to install these products.